Kia ora, I'm David Chaster with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that while officials cut policy interest rates, markets are bidding up benchmark bond rates. But first, there was another aggressive fall in the level of American mortgage applications last week, down almost 7% from the prior week and extending the 17% plunge from that earlier period. Perhaps the fall in mortgage applications is due to the weak state of their housing market. Existing home sales fell 1% in September from August to an annual rate of 3.84 million. That is a 3.5% dip from a year ago. And they're on track for their worst year since 1995. American money isn't invested in housing, it's in financial markets. And the US Fed released its October Beige Book review of the surveys of all its districts and it was unremarkable, only finding modest improvements. American petrol prices keep on easing at the pump, now 11% lower than year ago levels. And as widely anticipated, Canada cut its official interest rate by 50 basis points to 3.75% overnight, and they signaled that they will continue to chop the rate should their economy develop as they expect. And Taiwanese retail sales were up 3.2% in the year to September, but their industrial production was up 12.1% on the same basis. In China, it is still a long way off, but the retail event known as Singles Day, or 11.11, has kicked off with early promotions and by some official reports is building momentum. It is a world-scale retail event, probably larger than Black Friday in the US and elsewhere. Consumer confidence in the euro area improved in October to its highest since February 2022. This was as expected though. However, it remains negative and has now risen back to its long-term average for the first time in 32 months. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 4.25% and up 5 basis points from this time yesterday. But the price of gold will start today at $2,720 an ounce and that's down $22 from yesterday. And oil prices are down $1.50 at $70.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just over $74.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 60 US cents and down 40 basis points from yesterday. Against the Aussie, we're unchanged at 90.5 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're back down 20 basis points to 55.7 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today just on 69, down 10 basis points from this time yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.